okay let us test the application now so we come to the service binding we have opened the service binding and in the service binding we see that it is published so you can see that the status is published so you click on the entity set so we would click on the root entity set here it is carrier so you click on the carrier and then click preview if you have logged in already it will directly start the application otherwise you'll have to log in first and then the application will start here you click on go so if there is any data in the CDS it will be displayed here so now there is only one row here so let us first uh, test the display operations so we see this in the list now click on this line to go to the object page the object page is displayed it has also one connection so we can click on the connection row to go to the object page of the connection this is working fine the display part will always work fine uh, what we need to test is the unmanaged save so now let us go into edit mode so we go into edit mode let us change the name of the airline let us say this is some new name that we are adding just some words to know that this is different let us also change the connections uh, say the airport from say AP1 to AP2 that is airport 1 to airport 2 I don't want to take any names it's difficult to look up so we'll simply use these values so now we can click on save here we can also observe that you have the discard draft button here so if you click on the discard draft it will ask you to discard all the changes if you click on it then all the changes will be discarded you can see we go back to the original data okay again let us go into edit then again add new name change the airports from ap1 to ap2 and then this time let us say we just go back the draft is updated without clicking on save we just go back so now we can see there is a draft here and it shows the draft so we click on that we will see that this is the draft date when you click on this row directly the edit mode will be loaded so you don't need to click on edit again because you're already in the draft mode from here again you can discard the draft which we have seen already so now let us go and save the draft so we save the draft and now the draft is saved we can see the values updated let us go back now let us test the create so you click on the create button here and say let us put air india say continue airline name is air india the currency code is inr and we can then add the connections okay this connection uh, we can add it from here by creating a connection let us just click on create to create the airline first we click on create and the object is created we go back and we can see that the airline is created we click on the airline we see the data here we can go in the edit mode and then we can create flight so let us say we create flight number one and the departure airport say it's Mumbai I don't know the codes and I have not added any validation so anything will work destination airport is Delhi flight distance is say 1000 and kilometer apply and the data gets here from here we can save and we can go back refresh and we see that the data is there 
we click on the line and we get here now from here we can either edit or we can delete the data as well so let us go back and on this screen also we can delete so you can select the airline and then you can delete so both the things will work in same way so either you can delete from here or you can select the airline come to this page and from here you can click on delete once it is deleted you can see only one entry is remaining 